down the most brilliant street kind of designer that is ever known to man. We're talking about recurrence. So it's like there is no inspiration of any kind. It's much more of the Reconway's woman. Slightly sort of elongated egg moth shape in this really kind of gorgeous mothy taupe colour. I wanted to kind of soften slightly those gorgeous combs that he's got. They are actually quite aerodynamic. Rick Owens' pagan lyricism gets more and more refined every season. His angels are turning into princesses. I was so recognized at the beginning for a sense of abandon and maybe collapse that I've gone from that to exploring more control. Before, you know, my stuff was more Hollywood Boulevard scruffy. And with this collection, maybe it's gotten kind of more austere and a little bit more precise. Less aggressive, a little softer, with these kind of long dress shapes, feminine. For Rick Owens, this probably was one of his, you know, I hate to use that word pretty because it's just not a word you normally would combine with Rick Owens. It was incredibly dressy in a very street kind of way. So you saw so many people wearing that collection. It wasn't black tie. It was walking down the street in those long skirts. It was just edgy and glamorous without being in your face. We had these amazing leather halter vests over these long skirts. He said, I was feeling California, halter tops and shorts. I was like, that's your version of a halter top and shorts? I loved the sense of flight. The girls could almost just spread wings and fly. I went to go see that um, Picasso show at the Gagosian in London, and he had those amazing cardboard cutouts of doves painted white. And they were so simple and pure. They were just perfect. That somewhere subconsciously is kind of what I was going for. Rick Owens, he is such a complete original. How often do we get to really accuse someone of that? Every time he kind of surpasses himself and gives us something new in his lexicon. Maybe I'm having fun. Maybe it's just something simple like that.